In this video, we'll analyze the fighters' strengths and weaknesses, their pre-fight build-up, and the key moments of the fight itself. We'll also examine the impact that this fight had on the sport of boxing and the legacies of both fighters. On December 8, 2007, the boxing world witnessed one of the most highly anticipated fights of the year. Floyd Mayweather Jr., widely regarded as the best pound-for-pound -pound boxer in the world, faced off against the hard-hitting British fighter, Ricky Hatton. Both men were undefeated and had amassed an impressive record of victories in their respective careers. The fight was held at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and was billed as a battle between two of the greatest champions of the sport. The atmosphere was electric as fans from around the world packed the arena to witness history in the making. It was a clash of styles, as Mayweather's slick and technical boxing skills were pitted against Hatton's aggressive and relentless brawling style. The stage was set for an epic showdown that would go down in boxing history. But if, if he lets Ricky start crying, then as the fight goes on, it's going to be difficult, especially. Oh, Hatton lands the and gets inside. And he lands a solid left hand don't inside. Don't be holding, don't be holding. Get the mouth out. Hatton wants an ugly fight. They were the ones. He's been fighting guys like Gordon. You know, Mayweather's doing the same thing over and over. Maybe the right hand lead. And maybe the most important thing, at least, just won the first minute of the fourth round. Out working is that Hatton's eye has not opened up again yet. But Floyd Mayweather is now as they get to the Which is he has to do tonight. He, he's got to. Rick is making him have to fight. Al Hatton is hurt by those two big Mayweather shots. He's getting to the same punch contender. Interesting round. First minute of the round definitely belonged to the Hattons. And snapping Mayweather, or the Hatton's head back. Just like that. I think it's turned out to be a very good round for Floyd Mayweather. He got punished in the last two minutes of the round. Keep doing what you're doing. That's all you got to do. That clock. mama can't out fight you no way. He can't out fight you. If you can't get anything, defuse the situation. Do you understand? And you'll gradually wear him down. But, but, but as you're doing it now, you're too close. Tom say, get out of the way. Last two minutes, according to CompuBox. Box. Stop, stop, stop. Stop right now, Floyd. Don't stop. One third of the way through the fight. It's going to be a war of attrition. And he can make it into the late round. The one thing that I like with Rick is manhandling, but not exhausting himself. Right hand on the inside. This is a good round for Ricky Hatton so far. Now Mayweather gets it. He's quick with it. He disguises it with his lead shoulder. He throws it very accurately. Hatton almost gets penalized for hitting Mayweather on the back of the head and is penalized. of a come point in. for Hatton. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And he's come saying on. that Mayweather turned his back. Good quick left hook by Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather hasn't done much offensively in the round. One good body shots on, inside on. by Hatton. He's well, that's where the short arms come in come handy. Stop. Yeah, so he's a very effective. Oh. Now Hatton offers a right-hand lead to try to change the tempo. In this perspective, I think Hatton has come back and even that. Not going to be an easy fight to score. It points 
56, Ricky Hatt. Oh, so, 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 doesn't, doesn't seem round around to control the real estate. Team using, as Harold Letterman suggested, exactly he would. We had a fight between Cotto and Mosley, a brilliant fight that everyone expected. This fight is going about the way we expected also. An ugly, close quarters, mauling, brawling fight. And suddenly at the end of that round, Ricky Hatton was able to make Floyd and seemed to miss with most of his right and left hand shots. Come on, get him out, get him out. Uppercut by Mayweather. Good punch. Now Florida, Florida's really he's mixing up his yeah, attack. Well, Ricky is breaking the best out of him. Right hand seems momentarily to stun Hatton. So, no. Hatton would do well to try to get out of the center of the ring. He's more aggressive like he was a few seconds ago. Oh, make it available to him as though he wanted to take a break from all the offensive action. Very good when he gets time. Good quick left hook by Mayweather as Hatton came in. It's the right hand, sometimes it's the left hook. Huge round for Mayweather here in the eighth. And don't forget, there's no, no stand count here. No stand count here. Mayweather believes he's got Hatton in big trouble. Hatton gets a chance to land a right hand and gets it against him. It's between Mayweather's connectors. As he goes, Claude, very intelligent fighter. He will study him, and once he sees him slowing down, Paula will push him aggressive, but not landing clean effective blows. Somewhat in the passion of Roy Jones at the peak of his career. Now there's that straight right hand again, and again. Look how easy this is. Floyd Mayweather skips back, gets off a nice right hand, and there's about a way in. Floyd taking over the fight with Bill Calzaghe, who's 44 and done. He's been stride for stride for the career. A check what left a hook. Left hook. A check left hook went what right into hook. it. He never saw it. What a perfect shot. Six, a left hook by Mayweather, seven, and everything you know, and he is on shaky legs. Going. Yeah. He's on shaky legs. Every situation for Hatton. This fight is over. Floyd Mayweather has a knockout victory over Ricky Hatton. A brilliant performance once again. Never has it been more clear who's the world's number one pound for pound fighter. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official numbers on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest comes to an end at one minute. 35 seconds of round number 10. The winner by knockout victory and still, pound for pound, the best in the world, still welterweight world champion, pretty boy Floyd, a.k.a. Money.